Yeah, that's right. I'm outside in the Nine News backyard here. Switching gears a little bit from weather to our gardening segment, I'm with Phil Steinhauer with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. And, you know, when I think of these beautiful flowers, I think of springtime, but you have to do some work to get there, right? Yeah, so you do. When is the best time to start planting these bulbs? Now is the perfect time. And, and I like to say kind of the time you put a sweater on is about the time you want to start thinking about bulbs. And it seems like next week's going to be that way. <laughs> right. So um, it's really a perfect time. And you have really now for about another month and a half, you want to get your bulbs in before the ground freezes. Um, and so, you know, the stores have them. All the nurseries and garden centers have bulbs in their stores right now. So it's a great time to plant them. All right. And so I love how we're having all these bulbs. in Yeah, it's speaking right to me. So how many do you need to plant to make an impact or to to, you know, have that that jaw dropping garden that I want? There's a couple of different ways you can plant them. And one, you can plant them individually if you have a garden. And here's a quick, easy way. You have a drill all and right. you just that's a very easy way if you have uh, some tough soil or again they have a bulb planter and you do okay. you know you pull that and it'll make the hole but typically a rule of thumb you always want to plant the point up okay um, all the bulbs you can see kind of the roots come out the bottom and then the flower comes out the top so planting them you know the um, right <laughs> with the right way it's kind of like a Hershey kiss and then the other important um, kind of rule is bigger bulbs you want to plant about six to eight inches deep. Okay. And then the smaller bulbs like these crocus only need to go about three inches deep. And I kind of did a display over here where you could see in a container, you put your bigger bulbs on the bottom and then you can layer um, with the smaller bulbs up top. And then you could even plant like winter pansies and these will come up in the spring um, and you'll, you can do them in a container, you can do them in your garden. And then they um, just kind of live throughout the winter? They live throughout the, they actually have spring. to go through a cold spell. So that's the important part. So yeah, you plant them now and plant them in your garden, you know, for spring color. All right, and are these perennial? Will they come back every year? Do I have to redo, uh, replant them every every fall? Or you know, some of the really hybridized ones aren't going to come back as well. But if you get some true old fashioned ones, they come back year after year. Daffodils are really heavy producer and they'll come back year after year. Now, to get these and to get these planted and these tools, do I do it myself or do I hire someone? Where do I buy these? How do I get this done? It's a great family, so you can do it yourself. Um, you really can't go wrong with those two rules, six, inch, six to eight inches deep on the bigger ones with the point up. But then also a lot of uh, landscape companies were out planting bulbs now, and a lot of the ALCC members are all doing that as a service. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here and thank for all you. of your tips. If you'd like a, a replay of all of these tips and helpful guidelines for these bulbs, you can go ahead and catch this segment again on 9news.com.